Hey, this is Tim Pierce. I always knew that Change the World was done by a group of L.A. studio musicians and that Eric Clapton then overdubbed and sang over it. Well, the guitar performance was Dean Parks. He played the acoustic guitar. Dean and I are friends. We played together a lot, been in the studio together a lot, and I finally got him to come over and play that for us. He was in the middle of rehearsals for the Oscars, but he left and came over in the evening and threw it down. Dean was also kind enough to give us three electric guitar lessons. Click the link below if you want to check those out in the masterclass. Dean played a lot of acoustic and electric on Steve. Steely Dan songs starting from Pretzel Logic all the way throughout Steely Dan's career. Here in this YouTube video, check him out playing Change the World with the original guitar he used on the record that day. Check out his amazing pocket, watch his hands closely, and stay if you can for the part when I ask him how it all went down that day.
So, Dean, I've known you for a long time, and mm -hmm. it's been my pleasure to have worked side by side with you yeah. many times. And I remember hearing about the musicians who had played on this. You guys all took turns, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. They, we basically had the same staggered call times, but on the same night. And I, I was really blown away when I found out that it was you actually playing the acoustic guitar part. Yeah, but <laughs> not the solo stuff. That's Eric. Yeah, later. He was, right. Eric yeah. wasn't there. Right. It was yeah. just uh, Kenny and uh, yeah. me and the drum machine at the, at the beginning. So you were the first. Yeah. And the guys, I met one of the songwriters. Actually, I've met a couple of the songwriters. Uh, they had laid down a demo, right? Yeah, the demo was a great demo. No doubt. Hard to beat those demos sometimes. So, yeah, so me and Kenny figured out the demo and did, <laughs> and did our best of version yeah. of it. Then I doubled the acoustic part. Okay. We got a take. Yeah. I think next was probably Nathan and JR, but JR may have been next. I'm not sure. I know the Greg Filling Games, JR. Nathan East. And Michael Adele. Thompson, too. Michael Thompson was, I don't know if he was there that night, but he, he might have been. Doing beautiful swells and yeah, subtle yeah. fills. Really, really nice stuff. And um, maybe Luis Conte. Luis Conte. Conte. I know for yeah. a fact that he was on it because I heard at the time. I really was interested. Was it Ocean Way? Is that where you guys were? Mm, I believe it was a Record Plant. But um, Oh, the Record Plant. I, I think so. Okay. In the back room there, I believe. Okay. But, All right. Yeah. You know, don't. Awesome. I, I'm actually kind of surprised at how loose and open the guitar part is. I thought it was much more structured, but and there's there's I didn't realize that you actually do this G just in the intro. So oh, yeah. just in the intro. But then there's sometimes when Nate does the G and sometimes when he doesn't. It's pretty cool. That, like, or I guess in the verses, you guys didn't do the G. You no. just did it in the intros. <laughs> and I always thought that maybe the writer and you've talked to the writers were thinking about. I'm so glad from the cream. Oh, yeah. Because it sounds like it's from the same yeah, the origin. neighborhood. Yeah. yeah, perfect for Eric. That's awesome. And that's the exact guitar that you played it on? This is it. Yeah, this is. Who, make, who made that guitar? Uh, Peter Draghi. Oh, he, okay. was, he was in Sebastopol, California at the oh. time. I met him through a mutual friend, uh, James Newton Howard. I told him what I liked in a uh, guitar and the materials, and uh, I, I didn't order a guitar from him. I said, I think a big neck is good because I think it makes the same, the strings solid. Uh, yeah, I agree too. <clears throat> and uh, and he neck. came back in a year and he brought me this guitar. A year? Uh -huh. Did he make the bridge like this? It's really kind of a tuned bridge. Uh, you know, this, uh, this is a Buzzy Featon. Okay. And uh, he uh, did uh, the tuning thing, moved the this forward oh, a little yeah. bit and did yeah. his tuning thing yeah. here. But I ended up coming back to the regular bridge because the regular bridge without the cantilevers was better. Oh, okay. Because we had to move it so far. Oh, okay. We didn't want to dig into the saddle. So uh, this is the result is this part of the buzzy thing and not this part of the buzzy thing. Still plays very much. Yeah, so too. that the open strings, you can tune it to open strings and it still is in yeah. tune here. And the, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, I was kind of blown away. I know that James Taylor uh, hurt his hand recently, right? Yeah, yeah, half a year ago or something. Like and that. you were the guy that got called to actually play his guitar part. Yeah, yeah. he had a short tour in South America. Six, six gigs, long story short. He didn't want to cancel. It was the first time he'd been there since the 80s, the late, late 80s, and he didn't want to let his fans down, so they drug me in, and, and I made little charts of his parts. And I played his guitars, and he was there on, you know, wishing yeah. he was playing yeah. <laughs> for six years. I just, I just love the fact that in a world full of guitar players, you are the chosen... Oh well, immediately yeah. chosen <laughs> one to go and fill that slot. It's very impressive. So, oh, thank you. Yeah. So, thanks for showing us this song. And next time, let's talk for hours about Steely Dan. I know you played on a lot of Steely Dan records. I but did. That's, yeah. that's another Pretzel logic on. Yeah. Uh, when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. I was looking at Steely Dan records and seeing mm -hmm. your name all the time. Isn't the first time we met? Wasn't it when you bought those Fender cabinets from me? <laughs> Somebody, I had Fender cabinets. I remember the story. This is yeah. the first time we met. You don't remember. You I don't, but you don't, I knew yeah. about you before I met you. Oh, okay, you. okay. I, I knew that you'd played on those Rick Springfield records. Okay, yeah. And that you'd like work your parts out, come to the studio and laid it down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, was, I was learning at that point. But uh, I put ads in the recycler for these two Fender 112 cabinets. And you answered the call. I didn't know it was you. And I remember opening my garage door. And there you were, Dean Parks. <laughs> It was, it was great, and it was, it was uh, a 
big moment. And, and, and But then it's been great to work with you uh, so many times over the years and look forward to the next one. Me too. Yeah. Thanks for coming. My pleasure to be here.